And we are back. We are back in town at the Wizard Capper Podcast. We Tiddy are Wiz back. And Wizard and Big Tony. Here we go, Wiz. Tony, I can tell you the sense of humour, the way you're dressed. Thank Caps you very much. Warm. Mate, right, right off the top, we wanted to send our heartfelt condolences to the friends and family of comedy legend Norm MacDonald, who uh, lost his battle with cancer this week. We'll be putting posts to his brilliance on our social pages. Yeah, yes, he was fantastic. He was fantastic. Great and loss. We're going to try and keep him laughing for you, Norm. Thanks, so, mate. So, valet Norm MacDonald. Tonight, we have a great show featuring guitar superstar Tim Henwood. And finally, we get to answer the question, where will Brian Mannix be in 50 years? You, it'll I, be, I know it'll where be with us be. tonight. Right in the cabin cave. <laughs> he'll be right here. Hey, you know, hey, guess what, Tony? You know Brian Mannix? Yeah. He's had that much plus heat surgery. When he cries, the tears run down his back. Do they really? Boom! Well, joining me as always, the blonde-haired, blue-eyed legend of the airways and airlines, the Wiz Warwick Kappa. How are you going, mate? Good, thanks. How's your week been, Tony? All right? My week has been incredible. How about yours? What's been happening? Mate, you know, I'm just living the dream. Good. Yeah, living the dream. I suppose you are. You are next to me. I am I, right next I, to you. Tony, I do admire your honesty. You do admire it? Well, uh, mate, I, I appreciate that. I saw that uh, the... And Tony, Ned... honesty will get you everywhere. <laughs> well, well, mate, I saw the Ned's ad that you shot. Came out this week. Thanks, mate. That was good. Yep, that went to 1.4 million people. And uh, that was uh, Mark of the Year piss take. Mark of the Year piss and they take. And they had Modger on there and Smitty. Modger looked good. Modger looked like he swallowed a fucking hippopotamus, but he was, look, he was looking okay. He was reasonable. <laughs> he's going mate, all right. Great player. He's a great player. Kicked 100 a couple of times. And Is he up there with you? No, yeah, he's, he's actually a poor man's work capper, but he did kick 15 more goals one year, so I was pissed off with that. <laughs> but good player. He's a good player. Yeah. yeah. yeah, it was good. yeah it was good ad, mate. Thanks for saying. And also the big Mouth of the South ad came out. That was really good. Yeah, the Mouth of the South ad with uh, David Neitz and the Brewmanity beer down you, there. You were there for the recording and that's gone quite well. And um, everyone's going to get a few of those at Grand Final Day with the Mouth from the South because we're interviewing Neitz for the Grand Final. We are, mate. So yep. I better make sure I drink his beer for that for that, that day. Yep. <laughs> mate, I also noticed that you, you had a racehorse on the go this week. Is yes, that right? Yes, it was the first race and now friend's coming soon, the uh, part owner. And that horse is out of um, oh, Christian, and the mother's won five, six, five, six million in prize money. Really? So this is a two-year-old. It's called um, Bella Selena, and it had a first race. How'd it go? On Tuesday, it rang a radar and got fourth. Got fourth. So it was a radar 14. You get paid for that? Yeah, $400. Fucking can't <laughs> wait. Big fucking night tonight. What are you going to do with the money, mate? Oh, I'm going to go buy a carton of beer and just look at my pictures and just relax. <laughs> so another Friday night. Yeah, it's just the usual. Yeah. <laughs> nice, mate. The prelims last week, they, they were a pretty fiery game. I think, you know, you... you, you weren't you, they one-sided? They oh, were. Yeah. And um, So we've got the D's and the Bulldogs in yeah, the I grand think, final. I think Melbourne are the favourites, but um, the Bulldogs fix, fixed us up 216 and they, even though they got 85 more free kicks. So I wonder if the uh, <laughs> legacy will continue and they can just do the dream again. It's going to be an interesting grand final, isn't it? You think the free kicks played into it, do you? Oh, shit, yeah. Yeah? I'm still pissed off. <laughs> so I, I think Melbourne's is a favourite, but um, yep. if they pressure them, it could be an upset. Could be. Yeah. I mean, the dogs did pretty well to get up there, I think. Yeah, yeah, it was great. Great two weeks, isn't it? Port Adelaide, uh, they really um, disappointed a lot of people, I think. Yeah, they had a lot of brown stones in their shorts, didn't they? They shit themselves early. <laughs> Fucking hell, they, they were missing. They did. And mate. they had the last four weeks at home, they didn't even travel. Yeah. And they still got um, shit on. Yeah, I mean, the Victorian teams, every game's an interstate game these days with, yeah. with uh, lockdown. Yeah, and the Bulldogs actually went to five states in the last five weeks and they still won. So, good, great effort. So, it's going to be an interesting grand final, isn't it? It certainly is. Mate, I, I've been looking on our social pages, we've been getting some questions from some of our listeners. One of the, one of the questions I got was uh, asking if the Wiz was a wizard in the kitchen. Well, yeah. certainly. I just asked Lisa. I do a lovely, lovely barbecue. I do some lovely grilled steaks, and I do a lovely parmajama. So is, three cheers for me. Is is that a fact? I'm seeing a little hand gesture that's maybe indicating that might be false. Is Lisa playing with her <laughs> vagina? I can cook all right, mate. Don't worry. You can cook all right. Yeah, so I, you do, know. I, can, I can do chicken and salad and a nice barbecue. Yeah. And I can do omelets. So I can do three things okay. You were talking about some kind of like kappa sausage. Is that, oh. is that a thing? Yeah, there's a Kappa Kransky. The Kappa yeah. Kransky. Yeah. Got a bit of cheese in it? That was Yeah, that was at our um, <laughs> butcher shop. Our butcher shop's called Well Hung Meats. Really? You ring, we bring. Oh. And we are the housewife's best friend. <laughs> and Tony, let me stick it up you. Ooh, Better well, us than some other prick. Yeah. Well, mate, that's why I'm here. <laughs> mate, what are, you, what are you doing to stay fit these days? We're all a bit cooped up. What oh, are you do, doing? Uh, we do four or five k's a day, mate, Lisa. And we do four days this week. 
Yep. Then got a massage today, so I was feeling all right today. How the massage go? Good. Yeah. I said I said to John, you got three hours. I said, I said John, you got three hours to stop that. <laughs> then I realised it was a, it was actually a girl. <laughs> so I said, in that case, you got seven hours to stop it. <laughs> so I got some um, acupuncture. Got into all the tight spots. And help, help, it actually helped me. Shoulder was good. Very nice. Very good down there. Very nice. Uh, very nice. Speaking of youthful looks, uh, it is coming to that time of the show. Who we got? Well, no, it's one of our favourite segments, which we like to call... What's it called, mate? Happy birthday, cunt. Happy birthday, cunty. Can we, <laughs> can we swear on this show? Well, mate, we can do whatever the hell we uh, want on this show. Shit, yeah, because we're not governed by any licensing agreements, so we love it. <laughs> so we've got uh, we've got a couple of people to wish birthdays for on okay. this segment, and uh, who are they, Wiz? Okay, happy birthday. First up is uh, the beautiful Nicholas Ro- Ro- Romano. Nicholas Romano. Is not is not is not um, a cousin to our. His cousin. Our third wheel. <laughs> to our, well, a third wheel. Dicky D, Dicky D, Tricky D. Third wheel is a fucking generous description of he's that a, prick. Yeah, he's a cousin and a better, a better version of our own Nicky D. Nicholas just turned 40, so happy birthday, cunty. <laughs> <laughs> happy birthday, Nicholas. Yeah. You have been uh, given the special happy birthday, cunt. Shout out on okay. the show today. And I think we've got one more. One we've more. Who one we more. Got? Next up is the Royal the Ranger ro- himself. The Royal Ranger. Prince Harry. Prince Harry. Yes, uh, Tony. Born September 15th, 1984. Ready? Let's say it together. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday, cunt. <laughs> <laughs> Prince Harry. Actually, uh, mate, uh, I mean, he was born in 1984. What were you doing in 1984, Wiz? I was, um, <laughs> had me second year league football. Really? Yeah, so it was good. So I had a bad year that year. Only kicked 70. 70. He only yeah. played five games, though, right? Just, yeah, that was only in, in six games. So I was just getting warmed <laughs> yeah. up. So I was yeah. just about to go to Sydney. I got there in uh, end of 84, 85. Really? So Actually, yeah. I, I, mate, I'm being passed a little bit of a note from our technical director right now. It looks like we might have somebody on the phone. Who is that? Let me just take this call to see who it is. Right. Hello, is is there somebody there? This is the T-Wiz podcast. Um, ha- hello? Hello? Who's that? Hello? hello? Who, who is this? Um, 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 Harry Windsor, Harry Windsor. Wait, Harry, it's Prince Harry. Uh, is that Prince Harry? I used to have, hello, a, friend, I used Warwick. To have a friend like him. Another, another fucking ringer. <laughs> no difference. Prince, got, Prince Harry, what do we uh, owe the honour? Well, I was tuning into uh, yes, the so podcast. Prince Harry on the phone. And, Fuck me. And I heard my name being called out and I thought, how exciting. Um, Meg has been, um, well, we've been doing a bit of hairdressing during the week, as you've probably seen. And wow. um, I've got the most magnificent mullet haircut growing <laughs> in the honour of Bailey Smith from the Footscray Bulldogs. Oh my I God. can't wait for the grand oh, final. Oh, yeah. I like Bailey Smith. He's my poor man lookalike. Wow. I should get a Warwick Cap of Bailey Smith haircut today. Are you serious? So you, Prince, so you do Prince follow Charming? the AFL there, Prince Harry? Well, after seeing Uncle Andrew's VHS collection... He happened to have a video entitled "The Best of the Wiz." That's our Wiz. I, I learned, yeah, I learned a few things. I learned a few things that I could pass on to Meg. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Ripper, and, I better get Prince, all, Prince Harry Randy for a sleepover. You better. And also some of the uh, Aussie Rules games. But um, we love the D's, and uh, I'm do? going to give. Uh, yes, I'm going to give Meg the big D after this interview. <laughs> uh, why, why wouldn't you? In the big, in the spirit of the T Wiz podcast, why mate, you, that's fantastic. Why don't you give her three inches? Have sex with her three times, Prince. <laughs> <laughs> Meg is Meg is quite the bulldog at times. Oh. Um, so it's a, to, it's a toss of the coin. I think we'll be giving her the big D. And uh, uh-uh. well. <laughs> Well, anyway, I, I, I must be off, but um, thank oh. you so much, Lewis. I think that's Meg in the background. Uh, oh, oh, come on. No, I'm coming. I'm coming, Meg. Oh, my God. Yeah, okay, well, thanks very much, coming, Prince Harry. Thank hey, you. Hey, Tony. Meg, I'm, hey, Tony. I'm coming. I'm coming. Oh, hey, Tony. Oh, Tony. Meg, Meg's no fella, but she's not about to ride around the house. Mate, uh, oh. our legal team has just passed me a note saying that that was hilarious. Thank so, you. Thank you very much, Prince Harry. Thanks, Harry. Happy birthday, Prince Harry. Thanks very much for Thanks, the call. Harry. It is the T-Wiz podcast. You'll be all tea. We will be back. Oh, Wiz. Ah. We are back. Feel a sense of relief after that little opening segment? Beautiful, mate. Very relaxed. It was very nice, wasn't it? Hearing my son and take what's mine. Has it been played a couple of times tonight or am I hearing things? Maybe you might be hearing things, but we are going to feature it heavily on the show moving forward. Uh, Yes, I was the middle of the 80s. You were. Why why not put that on? 1.8 million sales worldwide. I did sound like Frank Sinatra, but who gives a shit? (laughs) Yes, 1.8 million cup is worth so. 1.6 I bought myself. 
<laughs> 200,000 a day. But let's make, let, let's, <laughs> but I do love equal opportunity. Well, I mean, if you do the math, I think you're still in the profit, aren't you? You got a point. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Over to you, you know what? Uh, you know what segment we've got coming up now? No. It is Take a Kappa. Yeah, all right. Let's take some in the land room now. Now, today we're going to be basically going through Take a Kappa, where the master Flight 39, Airborne, is going to be calling out one, two, and three votes for some pretty ordinary things, really, but we're just going to make them. Seem even bigger than they okay, are. Okay. Was it? What do we got there for the first one? First one for take a cap. One vote goes to. What's that? What's that say, mate? I can't. That says a non immerse. Okay, a non immerse host of the podcast, a rock and roll rabbit hole, for giving the T Wiz podcast a shout out. Anonymous, given the T-Wiz podcast a shout-out on his show. That's and unbelievable. And hitting number five on the Apple charts. He hit number five. Anonymous, the unbelievable show, a rock and roll rabbit hole. So good on you, Anonymous. Fantastic. He takes a deep dive into his record collection every week and uh, gave us a massive shout-out this week. That's pretty cool, hey? Three cheers for him, mate. Three. Well, uh, uh, Nicky D, you've been told. You're not on air talent. Yep. Yeah. You've, been I mean, up, you've been upstairs too long. And uh, yes, listeners, Nicky D is back, but he's on thin ice. Very thin ice. Very thin ice. Who we got for two votes, okay, Wiz? Okay, two votes goes to Rock Up with Ratsanani. Rock Up with Ratsanani. A great radio show on the Southern FM Thursday nights at 4pm. These guys are supporting Aussie artists and doing a lovely job. Doing a lovely job. Ratsanani, you guys are unbelievable. Ratsanani's. Supporting local original talent. You know, they've played my song a couple of times. It's almost a charity service for me. We should play that next. No, um, tonight we're going to be we're going to be playing. How's your sales going with that song? Hit right. me, baby, one more time. All right, with uh, Brian Mannix and the Androids, who obviously we've got Tim Henwood coming up next. Yeah, he's fantastic, Tim Bowie. He really is. I can't wait to talk to him. But who we got for best on ground for take a kappa? Okay, for the number kappa, number three votes for the big kappa B O G, which is bog. That means don't bog your pants. Best on ground goes to captain of the Richmond Footy Club, Trini Cotchin. Trent Cotchin. After nine years as captain, three premierships. And he has the Tigers, the absolute class. He does lead the Tigers. He, he has been a great servant in the good times and bad times. He really You're has. You're an absolute gun. We love you. You have taken a kiapa. Taken a question. And, and I do love his haircut. Do you really? It's like he's wearing a helmet. It's that, it's that thick. <laughs> Trent Cotchin, nine years as captain of the Richmond Football Club. You have taken that team from the ashes to the pinnacle. And he can come down and get his prize at the end of the year. I mean, not quite the lofty heights of the wizard in his prime. Yeah, he wasn't sort of a breakthrough marketing player, was he? But he was just very good, hard, serviceable captain with nice skills. And, and he won a Brownlow. He did, didn't he? I never won a Brownlow, but I had a gold record. <laughs> what would you prefer? Uh, probably the, the latter. The latter, the gold record. Yeah. Me too. I'd yeah. prefer the gold record. Three cheers for Trent. Three cheers for Trent. Trent, Trent Cochin, you have taken a kappa. It is the T Wiz podcast. Coming up next, we have Tim Henwood. Yeah, it's uh, it's time to get back. T Wiz podcast. Wiz kappa, Tony Marks. How you going, Wiz? Hey, good. Yeah, feeling good, mate. Just had a bit of run today, a bit of massage, feeling good about myself. I'm in the Kappa Man Cave, look at my photo, so I've got the confidence right up. The right up there confidence. Well, guess what's happening right now? We have got guitar superstar Tim Henwood on the phone. How Tim, you going, Tim? Tim's one of the best in Australia. We love Timbo. Three cheers uh, for Tim. Three cheers hey. for Tim. Um, I'm oh. going great, thanks. Thanks for having me, you legend. Three cheers Mate. for Tim. Hey, Timmy, I love you like a brother, but I'm from Tasmania. <laughs> <laughs> it's good that you've only been on the show once. You wouldn't have heard that one before. <laughs> I've got a friend. Oh, plays, I've got a friend of mine, Tim, plays for the Swans. Wayne Henwood, any relation? He's no, a, I don't think so. We, well, it's a very rare name, so you, we probably are uh, yeah. uh, relatives. But no, I haven't. I, no he's one's a, ever mentioned that to me. He's a barrister, so he's done it right there, I think. He's done no, it right. really? Yeah, played with him in 86, 87 from Western Australia, just that I asked the question. Yeah. Well, yeah, right. Well, for any, any of the listeners that don't know, Tim Henwood... Um, you know, if you're inside the music industry in Melbourne, Australia, you know Tim Henwood. This guy has been around. Back in the early 90s, I remember the old Fox and Hounds days where Tim oh, had a band wow. called Superman. Yep. Yeah, wow. Yep, uh, and uh, that, was, uh, that was phenomenal. The uh, Friday nights down at the Fox and Hounds on Flinders Street opposite the old Banana Alley vaults. Yep, we're having a, bit of, we're having a real music theme on this show. It's fantastic. Yep. We had... Um, Simon, Simon last week. Simon we? Hosford. Hosford, you might you might know him, Wayne. Yeah, they know. Uh, yeah, yeah. Timmy knows Simon Hosford. They've Timmy? been uh, they've been uh, long term 
you know, people in the industry. I mean, Tim, his band Superman, they evolved into Plasticine. I remember used to see you around with the Dennis Drill boys from time to time, you know. With yeah, that's right, when Horsehead was being put together. And, yep. and it was kind of uh, didn't, it panned out for, that Scotty got that gig and uh, I missed out, which was disappointing at the time, but it all worked out all right in the, in the long run. It all worked Hossie, out. Hossie's a fantastic guitarist, a great friend of mine. He and yeah, I have done a the, bunch, he's one of the best, bunch of he? things together. Yeah, we've done a bunch of theatre shows together and a bunch of gigs together. He's great, really good. What about his Van Halen Lee break? How good was that? Oh, how good is he? Oh, was that how good? good t- was, that good, was that good, Tim, last week? I was pole vaulting to the toilet. <laughs> Caps goes boom. <laughs> Caps goes He's boom. so good. Yeah, very so, good. Love it. Back in those days, I mean, you know, once again, well, you know, myself and a bunch of my contemporaries were banging it out in shithole pubs. Yeah, Tim was playing guitar. At, at the time, you played on Nick Barker's album and that great song, Time Bomb, back in the day. What a cracker yeah, of a song that was. Right. Yeah, what a great album. He was having a real purple patch, Nick, back uh, back then. Well, he's always been great. He's, he always writes a great song, but, man, yeah. he was writing some good songs at we that should, time. That's should, a great should, album, that album. play that for you, Tim, on our well, show. We might give that a run for you. We, we have, certainly have, yeah. have you got any gigs coming up or them cancelled like myself? Have they, you got much coming up, Tim? Uh, it's been – every time we get stuff booked in, it gets cancelled, unfortunately, because of the, the – I know the feeling. Yeah. So uh, we did. We do have some. Uh, we did have some gigs coming up with Brian Mannix and the Androids, but that's not going to be until next year now. Right. Yeah. yeah. I, I, know, I know. I know you're paid, mate. I've had two hundred shows cancelled. <laughs> 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 that's just last weekend. Yeah. No. Yeah. Hey. Yep. And so um, Tim also has featured in the band The Super Jesus. They had a massive hit with Gravity yeah, back we, in the day. Yeah. Was it was he in Super Jesus? What a great song that right, was. I'm lucky. Yeah. I'm talking to you, Tim. You're in Super yep. Jesus. The Rogue Traders. Yeah. Rogue yeah. Traders, who had a huge hit with Voodoo Child. So Obviously, it, back in the day too, the Androids. When you were great. doing that in the early days, you had that massive hit, Do It with Madonna, which I just that's watched good, the yeah, video the other day song. for that, Tim. That and mate, what a what a great song and a great clip. Isn't it? A, oh. Isn't it a cracker? That film clip's so good. What a shame Tim's not here. I better give him a hug. I give him a hug. I could show Tim my yeah. number one song, and they they only take what's mine. It's been yeah. framed, Tim. We don't want to make our musicians jealous of your success in the past, there, mate. <laughs> hey, 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 Tim, my song sold 1.4 million. 1.3 million oh, were man. gay. Other 100,000 hated me guts. It doesn't matter. It's, it's, all, it's all fans, mate. It's all fans, mate. A record it's sales, a record sale. It's all fans. Now, we're looking forward to coming and see you playing next year. We'll get me and Tony will come down and see you. And Nick, it'd be great. Yeah, that'd be unreal. Yeah. yeah, I mean, it'd be awesome. Tim, Tim's got uh, a project that's been on the go, too, for quite some time, Palace of the King. What a incredible band that you've got going there, mate. That sounds like my nickname. I was called, I was called Palace of the Pussy. Sorry, Tim. <laughs> just got a bit excited. Sorry, Tim. I just thought I'd add that in, but it is kind of true. I mean, it's relevant. Uh, yeah. yeah. It's <laughs> and, and, definitely and, relevant. And when's that coming out, Tim? Is that this uh, year? Palace of the King have been going for quite some time. Yep. Be great to come and see you next oh, year. Oh, yeah, you have to check it out. I, I'm wondering if you might – I think I saw you, uh, Warwick, at an Electric Mary gig. Um, yes, he's a big fan of mine. I love um, Rusty. Rusty, R- Rusty, Dusty. Yeah, yeah. And and uh, I played, I played guitar. I, every now and then, I just fill in with Electric Mary. Ah. I think I, was, I think I saw you at Electric Mary gig the Hi Fi, but oh, the whatever that's called, Max Watts. Yep, I love, I, 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 love, I, know, I love Rusty. He loves footy, so he's, he breaks for the I don't Swans. Palace so. of the King. Good yeah, night. he's a big Swan supporter. Very, Palace very, of the King may may have played that night. I'm yep. not sure. But um, what are, what are Palace of, of the King doing now, Tim? What, what are they up to? Uh, we've just been, and when we can, when we're allowed to get together, we've been recording. Yep. Um, so we've got we've got some stuff coming out. It'll probably be later this year, early next year, given yes. how hard it is to get things done. And we're doing some stuff with Angry Anderson. And oh, nice. We're doing a whole bunch of stuff. I like the name. It's good. Yeah, it's a great it's name. A bit different. Good. I mean, everything that Tim touches is just pure class. He's just... No, <laughs> you're too kind. No, mate. I mean, look, I mean, just that, just that... Part of your bio that I've read out so far, you know, Nick Barker, Super Jesus, Rogue Traders, Androids, Palace of the King. I mean, it's just been quality from day one. When did your passion start for music, mate? A young age? Yeah, Ten? I started when I was Ten? six. Yep, good on you, mate. Um, yeah. What was your first band called? It was actually uh, called Sapphire. Right. We were a hard rock band. Right, great. You grew up. You grew up in Melbourne, did you, Tim? I did in the west. I'll get you. Yeah. I'll get you to come out of the Kappa Cave when the lockdown's open. 
<laughs> you know, I'd love to. You know what? I, I've actually I, my first band, Sapphire, played at a a twenty first birthday party in a backyard in uh, sort of Footscray somewhere like that, and it must have been one of your mates, Warwick, because you were there. I remember you did a big you you did a big up up like. Going yeah. for a big mark above the crowd of all the, all char- the young blokes that were there. I charged three grand a party, three grand meet and greet. Twenty <laughs> first bar mitzvahs, <laughs> bucks nights. And, and what, 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 year, what year was that? That I mean, the conversion uh, rate that, that would have that been would expensive have been, back then. Mm. Probably would have been mid eighties. Wow. Yeah, I do that for a job. It's good fun. You would have been the peak of your powers back then, Wiz. We got actually Dougie Hawkins come around for the grand final um, next week. He's going to be on the show. There you go. So yeah. he's a Footscray boy, as you know, legend. Mate, uh, yeah, right. Tim, you know, uh, as you probably know, later on the show tonight, we've got Brian Mannix coming on, one of your uh, counterparts. Hi, mate. Yeah. Brian Mannix and the Androids. I mean, you've, you've had the single Rebel Yell. The, uh, you've re-released the classic Billy Idol hit, which is unbelievable. We played it on the show last week. How, yeah, mate, how, did, that, how did that come about? Yeah, well, that, that, was, was, that came about... That was great. Uh, I heard because that. Brian does a great version of Rebel Yell. And I, yeah. uh, I was... He was... We were both stuck in lockdown and... I was speaking to a mutual friend of ours, and he said, oh, Brian's looking for something to do. And I said, oh, tell him we should record Rebel Yell with Brian Manx and the Androids. So we recorded it, and then the lockdown just kept going and going and going. And I said to him, mate, Mano, you just want to make a whole album? He said, yeah, let's make a whole album. So we just made a whole album, and then we started doing gigs. That's unbelievable. Mate, the, just even this week, the feedback that people have called me and just told me listening to Rebel Yell, they just couldn't believe how good it was. Mate, he's, he's so good. He's underrated, that bloke. And uh, that the day he came in to do that, he walked in with a pack of ciggies and a half a dozen cans of VB, <laughs> and he cracked one of the cans. He said, well, where's the microphone? Yeah, I said, there Brian it Maddox. is. Did Brian Maddox, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah he's, then, he's been here, Tim. I couldn't get rid of him for two days. Mate, <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's, he's the real deal. Yeah, he's he is. Just very, very much like Warwick Kappa. And he's good, he, is he good. Just, <laughs> mate, he just pumped it, pumped it out two takes, and he was done. And I said, Mano, what have you been doing? You've been warming up on the way down here. He goes, no, 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 no. He's no. a natural born killer, mate. He is un- so good. He's got a nice and- smooth face now, thanks to my plastic surgeon. I've, I've helped him out. <laughs> Daniel Lance, he's, he looks a lot, a lot younger the last four weeks. So good on him. Call- he's, he's, good. he's always been easy on the eye, the old Brian Mannix. They, they call it Brian Mini Me. He's four foot nine. <laughs> Perfect. I like it. Yeah, it's a good call. So, mate, you, you and Brian and the, the Androids... You've got a, another one that's – is it just coming out now or about to release a re, just, remake of uh, the old Britney Spears song? Yeah, the Baby One More Time. Baby One it's More still, Time. Hasn't Tony Day's yeah. homework? Good homework, Tony. <laughs> Tony's so good. He's, it's, he's, uh, a, he's a figures it, man. He's a research man and he's great. He's very good. So it, when that it, comes out – It just out, went up on Spotify recently, so it's, up, it's yeah, out right, now. Right. So you can check it out now. We'll give that, we'll 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 that, whole album we'll give that a push for you, mate. All right, Timbo, we'll push yeah, that for you. Thank you. Yeah. Thanks very much. Well, well, Tim, mate, it's unbelievable to talk to you. You're you're an absolute legend. Anybody that's been around the Melbourne Australian music scene, you know, for the last 25 years, they know who you are. For know, everybody else, and we know who it is. We know who you are. He's the best. <laughs> for anybody Love else, you. hopefully, uh, we can introduce you to a few new people through the uh, the T Wiz bump. But yeah, what we're going to do, right. mate, is we're going to take out this segment and we're going to play play your song. The uh, Brian Mannix and the Androids, Baby One More Time. Tim Hamwood, Tim thank Edward. you so much for being on the T-Wiz podcast. We love you, Tim. It's been a slice of heaven, Timbo. Uh, thanks for having me, Legend. Bloody work. We'll see you after lockdown, mate. See you, Timbo. Yeah, yes. Bye. Bye, mate. Oh, baby, how was I supposed to know? That something wasn't right here. Oh, baby, baby, I shouldn't let you go And now you're out of sight Yeah, show me How you want it to be Tell me, baby Cause I need to know now Oh, because My loneliness Is killing me I must confess I still believe When I'm not with you I lose my mind Give me a sign Hit me baby One more time Oh baby baby The reason I breathe Is you Girl you got me blinded Oh pretty baby There's nothing that I would do It's not the way I planned it Show Killing
I can see that. I can see the light gl- glistening off your head. Beautiful. Oh it's yeah. F- freshly shaved just for you tonight, mate. Yeah, I can't wait to midnight, mate. Be Brazilian. Do my head. Ben David Tony, I drove you home. <laughs> Caps goes boom. I'd rather get an Uber. Thank you anyway. Okay, I might. You're honest. <laughs> all right, right. What's the next mate, segment, mate? mate what are we first doing? First of all, how good was that song? Hit me, baby, one more time. I love that. Brian Manic and the Androids. I reckon it was better than, better than Britney's version. I reckon it was too. Our next segment is what is it? One of one of my favourites. It's called Give Me Headlines. Ah, yeah. Give me head. Lines. lines, yeah. How'd you name her surname? Was phones lines? She didn't laugh either. <laughs> Give me a head, phones. I didn't know my surname was phones. No, it's not. Your cousins are okay. I reckon if we leave enough runway in front of that, we could probably iron it out. Yeah. So this week, the best headline I could dig up this week is a gentleman by the name. Well, I don't know. Gentleman's a stretch. Ryan Andrew King, thirty-eight-year-old tradie from Brisbane, was found guilty of performing. Testicle removal surgery on two men. Can you believe that? Shit. That's unbelievable. Was he qualified? <laughs> I don't know, mate. He might have got a certificate out of a Wheaties box, but Ryan has advertised his castration services. Hey, that takes balls. It does. On an internet notice board. Right. Yeah, so a couple of guys have been on an internet notice board. They've well, seen. That was very well found, found Tony. How did you find that? I just basically... So I really didn't take did any Google, time at all. Did you Google big balls or bore removal? I just looked at a couple of a uh, couple of online news services and it was there. Right. Yeah, I don't work that hard, mate. Hey, what do you call a guy with no legs and no arms? Oh fuck! And, anything you want, he won't fucking catch you. <laughs> Caps goes boom. Mate, there's a lot of booming. <laughs> <laughs> so, Nicky D, you've been told, please don't talk, don't talk. Um, yeah. So imagine that. I mean, I don't know what's worse, this Ryan Andrew King, who's basically. You know, advertising his yeah. services to fucking take people's testicles out, or the fact that two blokes have been on an internet notice board and gone, you know what? That looks like a pretty good deal. That's unbelievable. Is that a true story? Just that is a kidding? true story. That is on one of the major news streaming platforms right now. You can look it up. I guess what? You know, and uh, you know, you know, our racehorse hat came forth. Yeah, I do. Yeah, yeah. Fellow Selena. Yeah, walked into the bar <laughs> yesterday, and the barman said, "What's with a long face?" <laughs> That was a good joke back in the 80s. Caps didn't go boom. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, Yeah, no, that that was pretty good. That was pretty good. Well, you know, and the the next thing that we've got coming up, we've got our weekly uppercut, Wiz. I love it. I love the uppercut too. I've... uh, what I've put down for our uppercut this week, I don't know whether you copped a, uh, a look at this, but whoever gave a Vander Holyfield, the absolute heavyweight boxing Tyson? legend. It beat Tyson, beat him twice. Beat his year off. Tyson Remember? did get a get a little bit of the earlobe on the oh, second fight. I watched it last week on Fox News. Just an absolute weapon. Uh, but whoever gave him a license to box in the uh, recent fights, Holyfield, former undis- undisputed heavyweight champion, he boxed MMA veteran Vitor Belfort in a very hard-to-watch main event for Triller Boxing. Did he? Yeah, I mean, mate, 30 seconds in, he was all over the joint. He fell through the ropes. You know, he got punched in the arms. He was on his ass. 
Guys like this, mate, they're fighters. These, they do not know when to quit, and sometimes they need somebody else to tell them when to stop. That's why they have boxing commissions. Tap on the shoulder. So yep. whoever gave him a boxing license at 58 years of age, and he's not a 58-year-old like some people, 58 like, going on 40. Like um, Caps. Yeah. Like you, mate. I mean, you are, you smoke him when it comes to the... Uh, my Brian Maddox is having a supposed to you when he cries a tear <laughs> on down his back. <laughs> Even, but, even Brian looks young now. He it, does. It he does. Very nice. Thanks to you. Yeah, nice he does. Mate. Nice moisturizer but he's used. Whoever gave Evander Holyfield a boxing license, um, you need to take a good look in the mirror and have an up, get a cap, up a cup. Yeah, yeah, look yourself deep in the eyes. Deep, deep into your eyes. Clench your fist and give yourself a fucking up a cap. Real cap or up a cap. Boom. We're going to put some little sound effect in there. Here it goes. Two, three. Oh, there it is. Hopefully, we queued that up. Uh, oh, where's my chopper key keyring for the sound effects? Oh, I love that. Let's just hit it again. How about this? There we go. Anyway, we'll be back in just a moment. This is the T Wiz podcast. This is the T Wiz come podcast coming live in the Kappa Cave. Wiz Kappa Tony Marks. See you shortly. Yeah, that's right, Wiz. And guess who we've got coming up on the show right now? Is that is that Mini Me? It's Bob the legend, Maddox. the Australian icon, <laughs> Brian Mannix. How are you, Brian? We love Brian. He's the best. He's been at my place. He's a, he's a very good entertainer. Yeah. He's, he's, I'm mini Warwick. That's who I am. He's right. the king uh-huh. of swing, Al Brian. And, the ex, mm-hmm. and my ex-wife was actually in his film clip. Which clip? Everybody wants to work. No, no, not with. That's true. Every, yeah. That's, we actually watched it last week. Should, it was great. And, and we played in last year, myself and Warwick, Played in one of the biggest games of football for the entire year. Really, we had a Which crowd game? of about we had a crowd of about nine hundred there, which was more than what most of the AFL yeah, teams that, that got. Was, that was in Shepparton, Brian, wasn't it? The fundraiser with Ricky Nixon. Yeah, and we both really? got a goal, and it was the blondest, fluffiest hairdos down the forward line. Oh, it was terrific. We uh, were. Uh, there's 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 more right. there's more eighty sex appeal on that football field than there's ever been in the history of football. <laughs> and at halftime there was more snow there than Falls Creek, so I fucking really really wow. enjoyed myself, didn't I? I didn't want to say that, but it might just well, could have been. I couldn't believe I couldn't believe it. Three quarter time, you and me and my opponent went off to indulge ourselves in all sorts of things. And our our le- legal the- team have just passed me a note, and they said, "Yeah, it was a great game." It was actually yeah. it was actually only a pre-workout. Right. It was only a pre-workout drink, Brian. It? it was fantastic. <laughs> we actually raised, uh, I think, one hundred and forty thousand for cancer. Did you really? Oh, good on us. It was a good, good day on us. It. it was a good day. Well, you know, I'm not sure whether I'm going to retire, Warwick. I'm thinking, you know, I'm a bit like uh, Joel Selwood. Should I go on or should I? I reckon you go you know, another year, mate. I think you should. No. But I, think, I think I should retire because I, I, I kick one goal and, I, and the next three marks I couldn't fucking see the ball. I was fucking <laughs> slipping out of my hands. I was, <laughs> I was slow with a trigger. I, taught, I trained my calf. I, th- I said to Jake King, Ro, let's have a head count because I'm fucking struggling. <laughs> <laughs> you know, remember that? I was a captain going, I can't see that fucking ball. <laughs> I remember Jake King kicking one so high over your head and it was coming down to land on me and I thought, this ball is going to crush me. It was so, so high. <laughs> and, of right. course, I missed, I missed it by about 20 yards. But anyway, maybe it was the, a good day. But you we had a lot goal. of fun. It was good. The best what, thing was what the position night. were you oh, playing, Brian? What, what position were you playing, Brian? Uh, next to Warwick, where I felt was my <laughs> best position. So, and, uh, and Brian, you know, Brian, you know, you're going bad like myself when I said the fullback, just let me take the mark, and I still fucking dropped it. I said it might well, be time to hang the, your boots up, Phil. I thought I, what, I am slow as treacle. <laughs> well, well, my goal. The ball bounced off my chest in the last right. quarter. That was great. And they and they blew the whistle. I'm thinking. You're kidding. You're not paying that as a mark. And they did. <laughs> and then, good. fortunately, my opponent started grabbing my jump and saying, hey, up, what about this? So I got 50. Unbelievable. And dribbled it across the line and got a goal. So it was 100% accuracy in front of goal for me that day. <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> no, it's a, bit of, it's a bit of fun, mate. That's good, unbelievable. Good, good fun, Rosa. Uh, no, what's good. been happening in music world, mate? I suppose not much yourself. No, no, there's not much happening in the music world at all. Um you know, we um, I was talking to Scotty Khan and, you know, he keeps getting gigs postponed and, you know, blah, blah. You, you play with him in the Absolutely 80s show, don't you, bro? Yeah, with yeah. Scott from Kids in the Kitchen and yeah, Dale from we had, we, had, Shop, we, had, we had Scott on last week, Brian. That was good. Oh, OK. We, yeah, well, he reckons the music industry at the moment is a bit like trying to herd cats. <laughs> but, you know, and it's, yeah, it's been really tough and... Um, you know, yeah, it's sort of like to the point when, when bands come back, you know, you go see Farnham, he'll have the lyrics in front of him, Barnes, he'll have the chords and the lyrics in front of him. No one's going to remember their job anymore. It's been so long. 
Yeah, but I mean, look, mate, I mean, if anybody's going to be able to make a success of it, it's going to be you. I mean, you are one of the all-time legends of the Australian music scene. He's great. Uh, a bit of a... Just, mate, bit, just, bit just of an a... absolute legend. I mean, the uncanny X-Men. I mean... How good were they in the 80s? Mate, when... when not. I remember like the, list, the listening to those guys on the, like getting the old uh, forty-five singles. Yeah, that was shit up. Fifty years, mate. That was that was a cracker song. We were the Warwick Capper of music. You were. That's what we were. We were. You were the Warwick Capper of music. The Brian, Warwick Capper of music. Mo, Brian Monesey <laughs> will get you everywhere. <laughs> okay, I'm sure it will. I'm sure. Your, so not a lot happening in the music industry. We were hoping that we'll. Perhaps do some gigs in October, but I'm really I'm thinking you know, might out. not yeah. might not work again this year. I don't know. Yeah. Um, well, and you, that's you been had really the, tough. Can't believe it's not Countdown show on at one point as well, didn't you? Oh yeah, that's been postponed yep. for a year. That's now in July next year. Whereabouts um, is that going to be playing? Um, we will be doing uh, the uh, what's the one in the, the Q thing in Queensland, the big Q back in Queensland. Okay. Uh the Enmore in Sydney, uh the Palais in Melbourne. So all all, all of think. the all of the good touring venues around the country. Yeah, yeah. So that'll be great. But you know, we've been so long doing nothing that you sort of go, Oh gee, I have to pay a bill today and make a phone call <laughs> and you're freaking out. So I don't know, I'm gonna go directing a play, but um I'm sure it'll be great. I mean yeah. if, if people want to stay tuned to the, the, the countdown show, I mean, is there a website for that? Look, I should probably as the director and writer of the show, I should probably know that answer, but um You should give it a plug, mate. I don't, 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 know, I the don't know the answer. Well we'll, um, we'll we'll figure it out during the week and we'll make sure that whatever information about that's on our socials too, Brian. So we'll put it on for uh, yeah, I know with um, – with I've got a podcast with Kevin Hillier, and I know with us, we just stopped asking people about when they're touring their dates because <laughs> they all just got cancer. Yeah. So, yeah, just look at the Facebook page and it'll be there. And But, you know, everything just gets cancelled. So, it does. Um, How's Peter Hillier going? Yeah. I don't know if he commercials with Peter. He's good, isn't he? Clever. Who? Peter Hillier. Is he oh, just... Kevin Hillier. No, yeah, no, he's, Kevin. A he's great. Kevin, we, um, I thought he said Peter. Yeah. That's all right. He's got a brother, Peter, and he's a good bloke too. Um, <laughs> yeah, we've 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 had Alice Cooper on the show, and we've had um, yeah uh, Mickey Dolenz and the Monkeys. We had Kim Wilde this week. Kim well, we Wilde. Didn't have Kim Wilde. Yeah, we're the kids in America. Uh, well, what she told us was really yeah. Good she thought. told us that good stuff. When they were co- recording Cambodia, that Sting was in the next studio, and he came in and said. Do you want me to play some bass on this? Oh, so you. they got him to play some bass Who's on that? it, and then when they listened to it later, they said, no, nah, we don't want to use it, and they just really? erased it. Yeah, which I thought was great. Even Sting can have a shit day. Yeah, she that's was unbelievable. Nice, she was nice, Kim Wilde. Good sort, wasn't she, Brian? Oh, she's terrific. And Kevin Hillier, he wouldn't, he didn't invite me to the Zoom, so I couldn't even look at her. But apparently she still looks terrific. And um, I bet she does. She... she She's got a box set and a book out. But, I didn't know um, where you were going with that then when you said that. I didn't either, actually. I just start talking and <laughs> hey, see Brian, where it goes. Hey, Brian, you know, Kim, she can't fight, but you should see her box. <laughs> oh, mate. I'm, Unbelievable. I'd love to. I'd love to see her box. <laughs> hey, you yeah, know, yeah. I, I was having a little bit of a look through some information today, and I noticed that uh, you and the Wiz have got uh, some common ground. You, you both appeared on Neighbours. Yes, we yeah. did. He was, yeah. Playing, yeah. Um, yeah. Was he? he was playing and I was hosting. Well, no, I think the Wiz had a, a more successful stint on Neighbours because he didn't have to play an Irish jockey, which I did. So, um, oh, right. not, not so successfully, too, I might add. But, um, that I, don't, was I don't know whether you heard, Brian, but we, we, had, uh, we had Kylie's mum call in and, and uh, reminisce with the Wiz a couple of episodes ago. That was uh, Mrs Minogue. So if you're listening again, uh, both Carol and Ronald, thanks for calling Good in. Good on you. So we're both, Good on, both, you, Carol. both on Count. <laughs> we're both on Neighbours, both on Count and like a ripper. And I mean, yeah, what, Brian, you're in the uh, you're in the a great Australian movie chopper. I am in the great Australian movie, good movie. chopper, and great movie. As I often, as I often say to people, a I'd rather have chopper. a small part in a good movie than a big part in a shit movie. I couldn't so, agree more. And I think um, that's going to be great. Chopper is probably one of the top ten oh, best movies ever made in Australia. Uh, um, mate, that, that's probably top ten greatest movies ever made full stop it's just an incredible piece of work he was great wasn't he? oh look oh, top it's top so top. funny it's so 
you know, that bit where he's beating up his wife and then the mother comes in and he headbutts her. And then he goes, now look what you've done. Yeah, look what you've done. Mother's up, <laughs> your mother's upset. Now you've upset your Sharon. Mother's upset. Yeah, look she's, yeah. un- she's unconscious. <laughs> look what you've done oh, now. God. Yeah, oh, look right. what you've done now. There's, and now your mother's upset. That's hilarious. Yeah. Oh. There's oh, so many, really mate, I mean, you, you can't go past Neville Bartos. Ch- Chopper, there, there's no cash here, mate. Oh. No, no, no cash. Yeah, cash, no cash. Oh, I actually work with Chopper here, in five there years. Is no cash. Yeah, cash, cash no it's cash. Not it's not here, mate. Mate, there's, there's just incredible. I actually met Neville Bartos. He wanted to do footy shows. I thought he mightn't fit in too well. Really? Yeah. I met, yeah. I met Neville about three years ago. Well, the old Wiz used to do uh, do a little bit of touring with with the old Chopper. Yeah, I just... Yeah, and uh, Roger Ronaldson. Roger, Roger Ronaldson. Uh, yeah. Roger, yeah. Roger Rod- Rogerson. The most notorious policeman of all time, murderer. I had to sleep with one eye open in the car. I can't go <laughs> out. Yeah. Had a couple of and unusual... Chopper, did did yeah. you feel comfortable hanging around Chopper? Yeah, once you get used to it, he's all right. He's good. I think I saw you up in Darwin when you were you were touring, and I yeah. sort of had a quick chat to you, but Chopper, I was probably a bit too scared to have a chat to him. I guess, I guess what, Brian? You know, Chopper, he can't wear masks because he's got no ears. <laughs> wow, well, that's, that's why. We, why do you reckon we have to wear masks so Dan Andrews can make sure everybody ends up with ears like his? <laughs> yeah, that's it. Yeah, wings. Oh, no. You know, yeah. Oh, stupid no. cauliflower ears. Is it, uh, is it there is bingo wings. Hey, I mean, yeah. sp- speaking of film and television, Brian, y- you and uh, you and a family member are, are getting into the filmmaking yourselves, no? Ah, oh, look, me and my daughter uh, Casey. We've sort of been locked down and stuff, and so, you know, we've made a few little short films together. We said, ah, oh, stuff it, let's just, you know, we love we'll make a, we a feature love, film. We love Brian's uh, videos at Manly, so the grass. Are you, you going to, where, where are you going to oh, yeah, put you those? You made a porno, <laughs> you made a porno. Triple X, Shepard, boom. <laughs> 1.2 million sold, bang. Well, good <laughs> for you. Um, I was I'll be happy if I get 30 sales for this, but, um, <laughs> but yeah, so we've been... You know, just, you know, to keep yourself occupied and your brain busy. Um, we've been filming this movie, and I'm really surprised how well it's coming out. It's It looks great. What's it, what's it so, about, mate? What's what's the uh, what's the narrative on that one? Well, it's a horror film sort of thing, and um, it's a horror film with a twist, but it sort of taps in on, you know, you know that horrible thing that happened with Jill Maher, and she yep. was followed home, and... Yep. Sort of taps in on that, but then it kind of gets even freakier, and um, you know. So yeah, it's going really well, and it looks. I've got this great camera, and it just looks fantastic. So you know, I'm pretty happy with that. I'm doing something a bit new, and when when that's finished, what are you, what are you going to do? You're going to put it on YouTube, or you're going to look to get distribution on it? Or what's what's the I'll look. Yeah, I suppose you'll have a go to look to get distribution, whether you do or not. Um, as my daughter says to me. Let's not even worry about that now, Dad. Let's just focus have some on, focus fun the and make the yeah, move. Get it out and there, then if we make happens. money out Good of idea. the battle, well, that's great. Yeah. yeah, I think it's the right attitude. Well, just so, yeah. just before you t- tonight on the show, Brian, we had uh, mm-hmm. a, a great mate of yours, Tim Henwood. Oh. You know Timbo? What a ripper. He knows He's one Timbo. of the nicest blokes. He's yeah. a ripper bloke. And we, we recorded um, an album together yeah. during COVID, which he did most of the work on. But, Very nice um, guy, he? Hmm. Well, oh, mate, he's I a mean, lovely bloke. Uh, as, you know, not not surprising, he was singing your praises when uh, we played Rebel Yell on the show last week, which is incredible. It's got amazing response from our listeners. Oh, but Tim good. was saying that uh, that you lobbed up classic Brian Mannix, cracked a can, said, "Okay, let's go." Two takes, yeah. you were done. Yeah, well, I've, I've sort of been mic, singing mate. that song for a while, but yeah, he yeah. said you're a very quick but, you know, professional you, like myself, Brian. You <laughs> straight sing, in, straight you've out. Got to, You've got to sing under work conditions. You do. And work conditions, you know, being in a band, it's the only job in the world where they say to you, there's a slab of beer over there and a bottle of scotch. Have a good one, fellas. <laughs> yep. Imagine yep. going to the foot, going to the end of the Swans, um, Warwick, and going, okay, there's a couple of slabs for you boys, a couple of scotches, get into them, and then we'll get out there and beat the Bulldogs. I don't think that's going to happen. <laughs> no, it's a bit more professional these days, isn't it? It's changed a bit. Well, you didn't. Oh, well, actually, actually, I was going to say you didn't have a drink before you played footy, but uh, I heard what you did at half time. What did I do, mate? It, you, didn't you have a route at half time yeah, in yeah. some game? 
Yeah, that was the ex I thought I'd throw one into her. I was a bit towy. <laughs> a bit towy? Gave me, bit, was. gave me the best 90 seconds of her life. It's great. I bet you, I bet, I bet, I bet you <laughs> didn't did it get a couple a kick of times, after didn't you, mate? <laughs> she said, Where are you? You got three hours to stop that. I said, No, Caleb. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah I'll, I'll bank the other two hours and fifty eight minutes. <laughs> yep, and we had we had Dale Ryder on a couple of weeks ago. That was good. Yeah. Ryan, that was good. Yeah. Dale Ryder, Ryder, I don't sound like this. Hello, Warwick. Hello. <laughs> he Hello. Just like him. Hello. That's not a bad impression. I just, I just, you know, I don't, I don't do that stuff. I just sing my songs and they give me the money and that will do. Okay, that is and so spot on. I think you spend a lot of time. Theory. I think you spend a lot of time with Dale. That is unbelievable. Ah, uh, but he he keeps telling me that. He's going, I don't sound like that. I don't sound like that. And his sisters came along to a gig one night and they just said, yeah, Dale, you do. You do, you Dale. Do sound like you do, that. Dale. He's funny, isn't he? Yeah, I reckon I've got him down pretty good. Mate, that, that is a spot-on impression. Well, um, we just before you came on, we played the, yeah. uh, the incredible song, Baby One More Time, with uh, oh, yourself and the that. androids. Very good. Just, yeah, uh, well... It, mate, what a version. Well, I've always really liked the song. And when Tim was sort of saying, we'll do a whole lot of cover versions and stuff, yep. he said, you got any ideas? I said, yeah, I reckon this song would turn into a good rock song. And Absolutely. Just, that's all I said. And then he came back and said, how's this sound? I went, oh, you beauty. That sounds great. <laughs> and, um, yeah, but I yeah, I think it's a really good song, especially it'd be even better if Dan Andrews sang it. Hit me, baby, one more time. <laughs> I'd love to hit him one more time. <laughs> Absolutely. But, yeah. So yeah, that's really good, and that's available on um, uh, Spotify and all of the usual channels and shit. Yep, we're going to um, be throwing up links to all the songs that are live at the moment on Spotify, Apple Music. Um, oh, you know, cool. We'll, we'll Thank be you. we'll be popping links to you know the can't believe it's not countdown show and anything that oh. you've got on the go. You let us know um, and tell all the kids for us, and we'll plug all your songs coming up and all your tours for next year. Yeah, absolutely. Um, we spoke Fantastic. spoke to Timmy. He said that uh, when you guys are getting ready to release release the next single, that um, if we're still in this situation, we'll give you guys a call and just celebrate the next release. And maybe where, if, where we're, we if, if we're out of lockdown. Well, I think well, we'll, have to, we'll have to get you and Timmy into the Kappa Cave for one of those special Warwick Kappa sausages for a barbecue. Yes. Well, well, hang on. What's a Warwick Kappa sausage? That sounds a really, like a half-time treat. <laughs> it's a really big, fat one, like when playing footy, remember? It is a half-time treat. Yeah. It is Lovely a half-time treat. You, you, know, you know you're in a bit of trouble when you get a hot dog and it's got veins in it. I know. <laughs> What do you call a Greek, what, hey, Brian? What do you call a Greek man dropping over a plane at thirty thousand? Oh no! At thirty thousand no, no. feet, you, you can't do it for a third time. You oh, can't. No, no. He might know the answer. What do you he call might. a guy jumping over a plane? A, a Greek guy jumping over a plane at thirty-five thousand. I'll let you know. I don't I'll, know. I'll, I'll let you know, Brian. It's, it's called condescending. <laughs> Cap 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 there it is. There it is. Ah, nice. Uh, fucking boom nice. tish. Brian Mannix, mate, we know your time's valuable. Thank you so much for spending some time with me and the wizard in the Kappa Thank Cave you. on the T West podcast. Very good, Brian. Thanks for that, mate. To all our listeners, right. thanks very much for the absolute, the iconic, incredible lead singer, frontman extraordinaire, well, Brian no, Mannix. The beautiful Brian Mannix. Fantastic. Thanks for being on the show, Brian. We love you. Wow. Great. We love you, mate. We'll see you at Christmas. Oh, mate, cheers. See you, buddy. Bye, mate. Hey, Wiz. Hey, yeah. Looks oh, like yeah. <laughs> looks like we might have made it through another episode, episode Thank five. God, mate. Being fantastic tonight. <laughs> what about we had some great artists, didn't we? I know. Tim Henwood. Tim's big. He's incredible. How good was that interview? Very excitable. <laughs> Brian Maddox was great. Brian Mannix, I mean... Can't wait till they start playing again. I'll get down there. And I, I'll, be, I'll be in the green room getting all the free sa- champagne. <laughs> you drink champagne? Out, getting thrown out there about Scott Kahn. No, I think it's only Dale Ryder that doesn't like you drinking the booze. Yeah, no, yeah. Scott, Scotty Kahn doesn't love it either. No, I, I can imagine. Scotty can hasn't imagine. got a sense of humor, He does rub he, me that right. He has now. I've trained him up, Scotty. <laughs> yeah? He's good now. Yeah. yeah, right. I tell you, mate, after Bon Scott, I reckon that uh, Brian Mannix is one of the best Australian front man ever. He's like the Angels, isn't he? What do you think? He's like Doc Nielsen. He's up there with him. Yeah, no, look, uh, mate, Doc is incredible. Um, I think Bon Scott, for me, is the absolute benchmark of the, the greatest yeah. Australian rock singer, front man. Like just, he, he really just paved the way. Brian Mannix, I remember, you know, 13, 14 years old, you know, going down to Brashus, buying the Uncanny X-Men single. He was good, wasn't he? Put it on 45 on the record player. Yeah, it was 80, fucking amazing. 80s icon. 80s icon. Back then, it was like, you know, everybody wants to work and fucking Warwick Kappa taking hang time. Sitting on heads and he had the beautiful black mascara. It was great. <laughs> it 
It was unbelievable. Um, we also, uh, you know, obviously like to say thank you to Prince Harry for calling in. We, uh, he's a friend of the show. And thanks, for, Princey boy. Thanks, Prince Harry. Happy birthday for this week and, uh, you know, send our best to Megs. Hopefully she does get the mighty D. That would be uh, very generous yes, of you. Yes, I wouldn't mind being a flying wall in that room. Mm. Funny. You never know. I reckon she might give, put the whips out with him. Well, he did say that he wants to visit the Kappa Cave for one of those special Warwick Kappa sausages when well, he's in town. Well, if he comes down, he can pay appearance fee. He's got plenty. <laughs> Charge him 10 yeah. large. 10 large? He's got plenty. What's he going to get for 10 large? Uh, experience here for a night. <laughs> Just ask Simon Koskin. He loved it. Simon Koskin. Oh, Simon. Sausford. Simon Sausage's face. He had a great <laughs> night, Sausage. <laughs> Simon Sausage's man. Simon Hosford had a great night. Simon Hosford would not go home, but he no, was great. No. he was a very good guest. Another uh, T-Wiz podcast alumni. Yeah, he's a bit like Dicky D, just doesn't like fucking fucking off. Yeah, Fantastic. But, but Simon Hosford is talented. That's That's right. the difference. Yeah, that's a big difference, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I don't know about you, mate, but uh, this week it's been pretty fucking ordinary. Nicky D, he didn't turn up to the pre-production meeting. He yeah. didn't. He's meant to get to my house this afternoon to basically write out the sheets. Mate, where was he? He goes missing. Fucking crickets. Fucking so goes missing. Yeah, one, one job to go log on straight, he fucked that up too. Yeah, yeah. I said mid strength, he got fucking. He, he didn't even call the the uh, he got the, the guests this week strength. to do a little fucking lubrication before no, the uh, interview. Nothing, yep. No lube. No. I had to do the uh, reach around, I yep. had to give them the little fucking softy. Yep. The little fucking, you know, oil of Olay palms on the fucking testicles. Yep. Nicky D. Yeah, he's been lagging badly, so yeah. put your finger out, son. So we did wish happy birthday to his uh, his cousin, Nicholas 2.0. I think, Nicholas, if you are listening to this, and we know you are, obviously, mm. yep. um, Nick, give us a call. Um, you can email us at twizpodcast at gmail.com. There might be a job going. There could be, because uh, Nick's on very, very thin ice. Very thin ice. Yeah. And he's got to give his son's pants back, too, because <laughs> they're riding up very high up his legs. <laughs> Uh, I still don't want you to talk on the show. Thank okay. You. Um, so basically, uh, like coming up next week, we've uh, we have got a special grand final edition next week being recorded Friday night, the day before the big grand final. Okay, David Neitz has already given me the big thumbs up. David Neitz uh, from the Mouth of the South beer. Mouth of the South, Broom Manity, a legendary Melbourne beautiful, Demons captain. Beautiful beer, thanks to Wizard Capper and Neitz. And we've got the great. Uh, well, we, we, Hawk, we, he hasn't confirmed yet, but but a friend of the friend of the show, Grant Hansen, is hooking us up, hopefully connecting us so we can get Doug I'll get Hawkins him, I'll, get, I'll get him one. He loves me. You'll get him in. He's even my fellow stop and go man. So. It would be incredible to have a Demons legend Imagine and that. a Bulldogs legend in the one show before the grand final. Let's uh, let's get them on. Let's cut heads with those guys. Coming up uh, in I'll the future, the week after that, we have got Australian music legend. Who we got? Jimmy Hawking. Hendrix, Jimmy, Jimmy Hendrix. the human. Jimmy the human Hawking is going to be on the show. He'll be our one guest for the whole show. This is a guy whose musical heritage is unparalleled. His old man played in a band with Billy Hyde. Really? We used to be on the old TV shows in black and white. Jimmy the Human, Inspector 7, Josie Jason, Screaming Jets, Jimmy Hocking and the Blues Machine. Is he a guitarist? Mate, he is one of the greatest musicians and probably a part of the, uh, I guess, the, um, the Melbourne music specifically, but Australian music, um, just the, the culture of our music we through get, the history. We get some great names on here. It's unbelievable. So, got a lot of great stuff coming up. We've got the new website that's launched, TWiz Podcast. Get just it now. In case. It's, going, it's going worldwide now. I mean, I haven't had numbers grown the last two weeks since those commercials. Oh, really? That's not the only thing that's oh, growing, that's mate. I'm good. having to fucking move over the seat from you. Even your hair's growing a bit on the back of your neck. I know. A little bit of a prickle there. Very it's nice. fucking going all right. In case you uh, don't know how to spell TWiz Podcast, it's I know, T W I Z P O D C A S T. That's it. Dot com. TWizPodcast.com. That's it. And uh, from there, you'll be able to find all of our streams, all of our podcasts, all of our socials, all of that. The blonde haired, blue eyed, Flight 39 heading to Into fucking the airspace. Orbit. Ready to take us. It's been a great show. Thanks for coming, guys. Thanks for all our supporters. And thanks for all our sponsors, which are starting to queue up beautifully. Queuing up. This is Wizard Kappa. And Tony Marks. And Tony Marks signing up for the TWiz Podcast. We'll see you next week. See you next week. For the grand final edition. Boom. Caps goes boom.